If you are coming to Chicago, it's a must. It is a must. finished our boat tour. It was very long. Very long. I very recommend, long. I have two, two opinions on this. One, if you're gonna take a boat tour, take it on like your first day here because they're gonna tell you like, you know, recommendations, things to see, things to do. And like, obviously, like we're doing it on our last day, like we can't even implement what, what they're talking about anyway. Implement. We We're cannot. Business terms. We cannot implement it into our schedule. <laughs> We're gonna have to circle back the next time we're we're on the, in Chicago. And then two, um, I would try to find one that's 60 minutes or 75 minutes. It ours was 75. Was, ours was definitely over 90. I feel like. Yeah. Uh, it was a little long, little long for me. But you know, if you're really into that stuff, obviously do the longer one. But if you're kind of like us, like you're into it, but not. That much. You want to get the uh, expedient. The gist of it. Yeah. Then we stopped and got a hot dog. We asked the uh, tour guide right off the bat where we should go, and she's like, "Oh, actually, right here." So we did. It was it probably so wasn't good. one of the um, famous probably, ones. Yeah, but it, but was, it was really good. Still, it was really, really, really good. good cider. There's pumpkins. Look. Fall mode. So yeah, we're going to Starbucks Reserve. We're going to a really exciting dinner tonight. I will catch up with you guys later. o'clock we are back from Chicho Mio let me tell you 10 out of 10 if you are coming to Chicago it's a must it is a must let them know they have to be on it though you have you have to book it a month in advance so you like if you know you're coming to Chicago book it immediately can you let's just say it was a last minute trip do you think they could even you could check. I mean, there's always a chance. You probably have to eat at like a weird yeah, time. Yeah, you would have to eat at a weird time. You're but in my light. You're in my light. You're in your light. Um, <laughs> Everything was so good. And coming from a New Yorker, like we know food, like so good. So good. And what I liked about it is that they did like some half portions. So like we ordered... Um, for appetizers, we got meatballs, burrata, and a salad. And he was like, most people don't finish the whole salad. Like, do you want a half portion? And we're like, yeah, sure. We didn't even know that was an option. And it was, like, the perfect amount. And then for dessert, we wanted um, tiramisu, but they also had gelato. That looked really good because I looked previously. <laughs> and he was like, again, we could give you, like, a baby portion of gelato. It was huge. It, it was literally a normal per portion for like six dollars. It was nuts. Yeah, I thought they messed up. <laughs> yeah, the um the service was amazing. The atmosphere amazing. Yeah, the service I mean, was really good. Everything we had was top notch. So, hundred percent. If you're coming to Chicago, you have to go there. 
the drinks were like $15, and I know $15 sounds like a lot, but they could have easily charged $20. So <laughs> it's a steal. After that, we walked over to the, um, the Trump Tower, which is right on the river. That's a big attraction here to go get like a rooftop drink, hang out a little bit. Um, and then we just came back to the hotel because we have a super early flight. <laughs> we have to be at the airport at like 6 a.m. So that's gonna wrap up the Chicago vlog. Thank you for hanging out with me for these past couple days. Comment down below if you've been to Chicago and if you have any recs, you know, if we end up coming here again. Um, I'm definitely down to come here again. It's really, really a cool city. And stay tuned for my next video and I'll catch you guys soon.